We had the opportunity to partner with Fitchburg High School, and in particular, Brian Baxter, who teaches social studies at Fitchburg High, to work on a pilot of the Civics Action Project, which is a new requirement by the state that all high school students must complete a civic action project by the time they graduate. And in my role as the lead of the United Way Youth Venture Program, we have lots and lots of practice helping young people to find something they're passionate about to make important changes in their community. So the idea behind this pilot was to bring the process we use with Youth Venture and youth that we've done here in North Central Mass for over 20 years now to the classroom. We started this project because it's, it's a requirement by the state and by piloting it this year, it's given me an opportunity to know how I'm going to go forward next year with it. The class is going to be combined with the Civics Action Project and financial literacy next year. One of the hurdles I think as a leader of the course, as a teacher, is that it's a requirement that all students are going to do this Civic Action Project. And ideally, if you're engaging in civics, it's because you want to and because you are personally motivated to do so. The intention of this class is to hopefully spark that desire for the future by showing what the steps are and making it less intimidating to jump in and make a difference. So the process that we follow in the class is in alignment with DESE's guidelines. But basically, there's some self-reflection and thinking about and understanding who you are as a person, what your interests are, what your values are. Then you're gonna investigate what some of the issues are. Once you settle on an issue, there's research that takes place. How valid is this problem? How big is this problem? What is the root cause of this problem? And then we start to brainstorm and investigate what are some ways that the problem can be addressed? How can we make this better? Sometimes we have to narrow that problem down. We start with a really big problem. We have to narrow it down into a smaller, more finite problem that can be solved within a semester potentially. And then the students um, start coming up with what are the steps we need to take? Who do we need to contact to learn more? and ultimately they come up with a couple key goals, we call them SMART goals, which are measurable and time-bound goals that they can clearly say at the end, yes, I did this, or no, I didn't. And then um, we bring in different people who can meet with them and talk with them to reflect on what their ideas are, and they can get the word out there about what they're trying to accomplish. And then it's up to them to take action and then report back. What did they do? What were the outcomes? What did they learn? One of the activities we did was a values identification project. They identified the important values and the, and the ship was sinking and they had to keep removing values. So eventually you get to figure out who they are and what's important to them. We take the students through a project um, brainstorming session. We call it an environmental scan and it works with people of all ages. And it's, it's partially self-reflection, you know, what are your passions? What are your skills? What are the things you're really good at? And how can you use those things to keep your interests going and also leverage what you're really great at to make a project that is uniquely enabled by you? The next part we do is to think about who is in our community? What are the things we're observing around us that maybe shouldn't be, or we wish were different, or persist to be an annoying problem. You know, it doesn't have to be something huge, but the key here is that it's something that the individual student has noticed. And they've noticed it because it's important to them on some level. My project was to look into different things related to students with ADHD and try to find different ways that teachers can help students with ADHD. ADHD is definitely more prevalent than I thought it was before. It's definitely millions of kids have it, and millions of kids get diagnosed with it every year and it's, a lot, it's on a larger scale than I thought it was. Me and my group decided to work on creating a sidewalk leading towards the school. We thought it would create um, a better environment for students that would prefer to walk if they didn't have any other sort of transportation. Basically, we want to bring awareness to um, the youth having somewhere to express themselves and really like develop themselves as an individual and shape themselves. And I'll help them really stay off the streets and the roads and you know be a good kid. So we decided to um, start by trying to email um, at council members and people who can really make change. So our project was based on the roads of Fitchburg, specifically Electric Ave. It's a pretty long road, so it has a lot of potholes. And this road was kind of important for us because it connects Park Hill Plaza, which is a big area, as well as Cogshaw Park, which is another big area that people in the city use. I was kind of interested to see, you know, like what's the process of getting a road fixed and is there like a budget for that and like 
how do you go about getting a road fixed? It's that much more fun and enjoyable if they're choosing a project idea or um, spicing up their idea with their own personal interests and passions. We research trying to figure out, you know, how do we get this heard? Like, how do we voice our concerns? And we found that the city had a website called C Click Fix where you can report potholes and any like road damages, essentially, as well as call the city to get something fixed. So we made a submission on the site and they said that they would look into fixing it at the time. We talked with the mayor about it and I also talked with a city council member. At first we started off well, doing the research on the websites on how to connect with the community and how to find out how we could start off with adding these attractions for teenagers like ourselves or like younger. So we started off, we emailed the um, the director of the company like that they had and we got in contact with him and he ended up scheduling with us how like and he came over here and talked with us about everything and how everything goes. I made a slideshow that would be used as a teacher training for teachers to help kids with ADHD to uh, give them tips on how to uh, teach kids with ADHD better. A lot of kids are kind of shy to speak up and ask for help and that's what I wanted to maybe put teachers more out there to be more open to communicate with students. It kind of proved that we could make action if we all decided, you know, we could come up with an idea and we could all work together to push this, to push this goal overall. I was most impressed with the students and how they interacted with us and how they expressed what was important to them in their projects and how they showed what was important to them and went out and tried to do something about it. It's definitely easy to get the information, but it's hard to actually do something and try to make a change. It's hard to get it out there and uh, you have to talk to the right people. A little bit of leadership kind of, you know, is reflected here because you're taking the action to, to talk to someone about a topic that you feel is a problem. And, you know, not everybody can get out of that comfort zone. So this, like, project definitely helped me, someone who was like pretty much of an introvert, get out there, or at least like try to, and you know, get the research that I need, talk to whoever I have to talk to. I think your mindset when to, into going into this project should be like, oh, that it should be long-term, or that, or maybe even as a, as a life lesson to you in the future, on trying to fix things that are bigger than what you think. One of the lessons I hope students get out of this is the value of trying and failing and reflecting and learning from that. There's so much you can learn from every moment if you choose to be engaged in that moment and reflect. Whether things go the way you intended or not, or maybe you're just curious about something, there is so much to be learned and gained from that. And this class really helps that creativity and curiosity flourish. As of recently, uh, I like drove down the road and it's patched up, so I don't know if that's us, but I hope that we made a difference in getting it fixed and maybe made it get fixed sooner. If someone would have picked this project up uh, after me, I think they should definitely get it out there to teachers because I didn't really uh, send my slideshow to anybody. I just kind of had it prepared. I think kids should definitely talk to teachers about different uh, things that they can do to help students with ADHD. It's more about the process than the completed project. And that's, I don't say that to deter people from having the goal of completing their project. But as you can probably imagine, many of the issues that students might want to address are not gonna be resolved in a semester. But that doesn't mean that they can't make a really big difference toward getting attention to that idea or starting it so that somebody else can pick up where they left off. It's going to teach them how to be civically involved and how they can get things done. Because once they leave high school, they, they're, they're citizens and they're gonna, they're gonna have a say. And how do you have a say? And this, this class is gonna teach them how they can have a say. Coming into this classroom with these students and realizing all of the hope and potential that they're about to graduate, they have every possibility in front of them and to see them come alive with their ideas was amazing. What I learned from this process is that um, you have a voice. No matter how small you think you are, you actually have a voice. You can make change if you seek after it. Um, whether that's emailing someone or 
you know, trying to tell someone to tell someone. It's just all about trying to get your voice out there to be heard. I think this project for me um, sort of like gave me some insight on how the city is run and the politics behind it. And I hope to be more involved in that and try and make things better in the city. It was a really fun process. I learned a lot from just starting from scratch, coming up with an idea. Like just because the government controls everything in the city or holds everything doesn't mean we can't, we can't change it. The city of Fitchburg, this is their town. This is their home. Of course they care what's going on here. They may not care about the same things as everybody else, but if they don't speak up, who is? The city works for you. Um, it's your taxes and you should definitely get to have a say in this by, you know, talking to the city, um, voicing your concerns and not just to be silent about it. I'm civically active and I want my students to be civically active. I think it's very important that students, as soon as they turn 18, register to vote. And, and, and have an idea of what that means. My advice to students who will be taking this class in the future is don't just think of this as a project. Think of it as you making change and really put your 100% into it because at the end of the day, you can really make a change if you really want to. This can be one of the most powerful learning experiences you'll have in high school if you choose that. Typically, teachers have all the control in the classroom and that's not what this class is about. This is a real life learning experience this is something that we know students want because they've told us in all sorts of surveys and, and uh, Porch River Graduate Focus Groups, they want to have real life experiences. It doesn't get any more real than this. So in order for you to get the best possible experience, your teachers are gonna be giving you lots of choices and the ability to decide which direction you lead into. And it's up to you to take that, to take that challenge on. And if you do, I can promise that you will have an, a fantastic learning experience.